So in this example, we will design a merely finite state machine that will detect three consecutive ones in your one bit input X. So what we have, so we have this X input, which is one bit and we have our finite state machine here. I have an output Z and this Z will become one whenever I have once three consecutive times in my input, right? So let's look at this from a timing diagram. It will be more easier. So I have a clock signal here and then let's say I am sampling my flip flops are sampling at this rising edge. Okay. So initially X is zero and my Z will become zero, right? So Z will be zero here and here X is zero again and Z will continue to be zero. Then I got a one here first time and another one here. So this will be my second one, right? If I have two ones here, then I will have another one here, which will be three ones. But this is a melee machine. Okay. So as soon as I got two ones here, I will be counting one and two somewhere here. My input is one. Then my Z will become one actually. So after I got the second sample, I will be in, let's say in S2 state. As soon as I change my state to S2, I got another input here. So this will become one here. Okay. But this is for the melee. But if I had more finite state machine, this will what will happen. I will go here and I will wait until I see the a third one here. Then this will become one here. Okay. But then let's continue here. So I go to here. And I still have three consecutive ones here. So Z will become continued to be one. And then as soon as here the X is zero, then this will go to zero. Okay. But the Moore's finite state machine. So it got a fourth one here, but it is still last three ones is consecutive ones. And then I will be staying here, but until it sees the next one here, it is zero then it will go to zero. Okay, so this is my move output. Okay, let's do the state diagram and it will be easier for you to understand. So in this case, I have an S0 state. Let's say S0 is no ones detected. S1 is a single one detected. S2 is two ones detected. So if it is a melee, it is enough for me. Okay. And, but if I had a more, I need to have another one. Okay. So because I need to have a state that detects three ones. So this is the more states. Okay. So in this case, more has one more state, but we will be designing this in a melee. So let's do our state diagram. I am in S0. So if X is one, then I go to S1, right? If X is zero, then I stay in S0. If I am in S1, if X is zero, I go back to S0. If I am in S1, if the X is one, I go to S2. But in all these cases, my output is zero. If I am in S2, if X is one, I go back to S2. So this is X is equal to one and Z is equal to one. If there is a zero, I go to S0. So this is my state diagram. So let's write our state table. So I have my X. Let's say I represent my state with A and B. So this will be my A T plus one and B T plus one. And I will have Z here. So if I am in zero zero state, if the X is zero, I will be still here and my output will be zero. 0, 1 state and if the X is 0, I go to 0 state. If I am in S2 state, then if X is 0, I go to S0 state. So this state cannot happen, right? In my case, I don't have a case of in the melee. So I will have an XS here. So these are all 0. This cannot happen. So if I am in 0, 0 state, if the X is 1, I go to S1 state and my output is 0. If I am in S1 state, I detected a single one and another one is coming. So I go to S2 state. So if I am in S2 state and if the input is one, I will be staying in S2, but my output will be one. And these conditions cannot happen. Right? So this is my output. So I can design my circuit using the Carnot map. Let's first simplify it. So I can have two groups here. So this group X and A, this is X and B. So I can just write this X, A, 
for b let's find b so then i can write for b t plus one is equal to x and a naught b naught so let's draw our circuit so i have two flip-flops here so this is my a this is my b so this is my x input this is my, my a b and then i have here an and input this is my x a naught b naught okay and my output what is my output z so this is a melee right so i can write for z here z is actually x and a whenever x is one and a is one then i will get z so you can check this through Carnot map so this will be my z here okay and then you can try if this is working right let's say initially a is zero b is zero and let's say x is one right so the next state i should be going to s1 i was in s0 so i should be going to the one here and this should be zero you will see this is zero and you have one here one here one here one here and it goes to s1 now let's say the second time i have another one here then i have one here one here now this becomes one so this becomes zero so now this becomes zero but it become one here so i went to s2 okay now a is one b is zero so a is one b is zero so i got a one here right and x is one a is one so i got zero here and b is one here but i got zero here i was in s2 and i stayed in one zero state here right so this was still one this is zero but you can check my z is one because this was one and this was one and i got z is one but then whenever x becomes zero at the time when this goes to zero this z will also goes to zero okay so this is the melee version of my detector so this circuit detects three consecutive ones in my input x